One of those other species that gains from protecting the tiger is also one of the tiger's favorite prey, the sambar. Sambar are the largest member of the deer family in India. About the same size as the North American elk, sambar are striking, especially the males with their impressive antlers. These deer tend to travel in small family groups. Rathambor also has one of the highest densities of spotted deer. Spotted deer form large harems with a dominant male and several female and young. These large groups can be easy prey. In fact, you can think of them as fast food for tigers. The largest member of the antelope family in Asia is found here as well. It is the blue bull or nilgri. The male blue bull actually does have a blue hue to him, giving rise to the name. Like the sambar, they are found in small family groups, favoring the more heavily forested areas. The reason Rathambore has so much wildlife is its many ecozones. An ecozone is a wildlife habitat, like the grasslands of the Indian gazelle or the forests of the blue bull and tiger. These, in turn, are supported by the incredible wetlands of the park. The wetlands not only provide drinking water for big game, but are also a haven for bird life. Rathambore is home to over 272 species of birds. That's about the same number of bird species found in the entire U.S. One of the most visible birds in the park is the lapwing. These large and colorful members of the plover family stake out their nesting territory early in the season to increase breeding success. Though great flyers, it is rare to see these birds in the air. They feed and even nest on the ground. Another bird that spends most of their time on the ground is the beautiful painted stork. These long-legged wading birds feed primarily on frogs and snakes that they startle by patrolling the shoreline. The snakes are probably a good reason not to go wading in these waters. One of the most striking members of the stork family, they stand over three feet high, making them one of the largest birds in India. 